Good morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup for today. So as expected on Friday we had a pretty much a nothing day. We've been left with a bit of a hanging man and then with the pin bar from the previous day I still think we have a little bit of uh, indecision happening here at the moment. So at the moment our Tencent is up almost uh, 0.4, I think it's 0.41%. Um, the Hang Seng is also up at the moment, and uh, that is up uh, one, yeah, one, one percent, one point zero eight percent at the moment. So there is some positive news on the coronavirus, which is what's causing this at the moment. So uh, what we need to do is just get our levels drawn in, and I think that's the one level we want to get into. And let's just get straight down to the three hours, so we can see exactly. Um, what is going to transpire. Okay, so as you can see on the three hour, we've got quite a bit of indecision towards the close of last week. So we had a lot of um, we've got two pin bars, individual side, this is on the State of the Nation address just before, and then we had the State of the Nation address, which pretty much was a, a non-event, and uh, we've kind of big, big down, big up, and then sideways. So for all intents and purposes, trend is slap. Okay, we could argue there's argument for quite a few different scenarios here, but this is the one that I um, think is the most clear at the moment. So this flag here uh, with the oscillators that are apart at the moment, this for me indicates second move to the upside as bring. We are at a fairly strong daily level. So this uh, 50,114, 50,100 area is definitely an area that we need to pay attention to. Okay, we do have a gap to the upside, and we didn't quite get there. I'll put it just underneath there. So that is definitely going to act as a magnet, and then we still have the, the second move here. Okay, so going into the close on Friday, there was a lot of profit taking here. You can see by these tails that was all profit taking that was happening. Trend is still up. If you look at the moving averages, they're definitely to the upside at the moment. And this is a consolidation pattern that we can see here at the moment. So, and you can draw it many ways. You can basically put it in as a channel, or oh, sorry, as a range as well. There's a range there. Um, or alternatively, it's the trend line that's breaking. And I think in this case, that's what I'm looking to do right there. So, there's a high, there's a previous, the next low. Um, and then we've got a lower low, but break of the trend line. Not clean, there were way too many tails here for me for that to be a clean break. So any kind of pullback is what I'm looking for at the moment. Okay, so let's just quickly get to the half hour and you'll see what I'm looking for. So there's my my current range. This is not our fractional, okay, because this last bar here is uh, nonsense data. That's at uh, midnight. So Pin bar, pin bar, indecision, tails, tails, lots of barbed wire here, lots of indecision. So what I'm looking for is a break to the upside of uh, 52.05 um, or alternatively uh, a break to the downside. But a break to the downside is not going to trigger short for me. So 50.097 is, is a break to the downside. So break to the downside is really just going to have me looking for a opportunity to get uh, get long again okay so let's quickly switch across to the Ichimoku and we'll start off with the 12 here I don't think it's going to change much of the opinion at the moment so right now we're in and out the cloud on the 12 minute it is bullish but we are ranging uh, flat cloud flat Kijitsun flat Tikkinson everything pretty flat so that's definitely indication of a range Half hour, we've had a bullish cross outside the cloud. Cloud is starting to point to the upside. Oscillators group to the downside. So there's a lot of opportunity here for, for longs. So basically any pullback is what you're looking for right now. Um, on the hour, Ichimoku has a different picture. So that is a, a bearish cross. Everything else is bullish. So mixed signals. Uh, not really going to read much into that at the moment. Uh, the four hour is the next one at the moment. So it is bullish. We are below Tikkinson, okay, so uh, 
But low Tickinson and above Kijinson, that typically of a range, and you can see the flat cloud, it's a range, flat Kijinson, flat Tickinson, also a range. So that's the setup that we have at the moment, range bound, but I still think we're going to have a, a fairly positive day. Okay, now, the big thing that's happening currently is we have bullish cloud, we've got bullish chicken span that's breaking through price, we now are about to cross over in a golden cross on the daily between Keats and Tickens. That is an extremely bullish signal, and we're above a cloud. Okay, so there are multiple bullish signals on the daily. So I think for me today it's long. Uh, I'm just going to come back here to our moving averages. Um, for me today it's long. Look for those levels on the 12 minutes and. Uh, this fractal here is definitely the one that we're looking to break to the upside. Uh, that would give us a, a fairly decent long trade with a stop of around 170 points. You're going to want your stop below this fractal here. Okay, so that's kind of the structure I'm looking for. If we do break to the downside here, I'm really just looking for another opportunity to get long. So I'll be looking somewhere around this area here, which would be 51.983. Okay, so that's my view for today. Um, long it is, and I'm looking to be long on a pullback or alternatively on the break. And the, I, the nice thing about the break here is your risk is fairly low at 160 points. So uh, you can have a sizable contract on. And my target is it's going to be a little bit messy but there's lots of uh, little peaks and uh, uh, fractals here that we're going to tag but there is there is a gap to the upside which i think is definitely going to be a a target area okay and there it is there so there's our gap and um Obviously, we need to get above the, the previous highs here. Um, so if you look at these two highs, or three highs on the on the hour, you'd, we definitely need to get above that. So it wouldn't surprise me to see a move up, a pullback to come and test. And the test I um, reckon we're going to have will be something along the lines of that. A break up, a more than likely a small gap to the upside, a little bit of a meander down during European session, or the beginning of the European session, and then an acceleration back up there. Your measured move here is pretty much above that gap. And I think that is the previous high, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the previous high, which will also be a magnet. Okay, um, and then lastly on the 4-hour, you can see shoulder, head, and the next shoulder forming here, or alternatively, cup and handle we've broken through we're testing the break of a cup and handle so that gives me another measured move to the upside okay anyway guys that's my view for today hope that helps and we will catch you later cheers for now